And what was your experience, what, your one-on-one -on -one experience with Eddie Jack Peterson was the person who you talked to who was an incel who, got a, who kind of spoke out after one of the massacres. What was your experience one-on-one -on -one with him? So it was really interesting. He was a very softly spoken, kind of um, quite timid sounding guy. It, it really hit home. Everyone I interviewed or spoke to or met with who was a member of one of these communities or had been, really made me think that you think these guys are these kind of monosyllabic trolls, you know, living in their parents' basements that would never walk among us. And it can be further from the truth. These are men like you might sit down next to on the tube or be working opposite at your desk in an office. These are men who are very much part of our communities. And in Jack Peterson's case, he was a good example, I think, of that kind of vulnerable teenage sort of exploitation because he was just 11, in fact, when he started to get involved in some of these websites. He started out in quite generic chat rooms and message boards and gradually found his way into an incel forum by the time he was aged perhaps around 14 or so. When he was about 17 or 18, the Toronto van attack happened and he started to see that the media was linking it in some spaces to incels and was talking about this community of men who wanted to rape and murder women. And he was furious because he thought that he'd found a, a home in this community and he really thought it was just men being men and letting off steam and saying stuff that wouldn't be acceptable offline together, but they didn't really mean it. And so he did a bunch of press interviews where he said to the press, you know, you're misrepresenting this community. This is a support community of men looking out for other men. And just because one man who was a member of this community has gone and murdered a bunch of women doesn't mean that you should tar us all with the same brush. We don't want all women dead. And what happened to him was fascinating because he received a deluge of abuse and he'd anticipated that happening from feminists or from the general public. But instead, it came from the incel community. These men were absolutely furious that he was selling them short in the media. They were furious that he was telling people they didn't want all women dead because that was what they wanted. They were angry that he was dumbing them down, if you like. They were angry that he wasn't presenting their real agenda. And that was a real shock for him because it exposed the reality of a community that he'd been able to be a part of without recognizing that. So for me, that was a really good example of how possible it is for a teenage boy to think that this is something that it, that it really isn't.